Well, to be honest, back in the day, I would have a lot of mental health issues. Um, alopecia as well, bits of my hair fell out. The doctors always prescribed me antidepressants. Um, the side effects from the antidepressants, the likes of suicidal thoughts, are very hard to deal with. Um, I've also been prescribed painkillers as well, which over time become quite addictive. I did find using cannabis myself, sourced from the black market, it did make me feel a lot better and it didn't have like hangover effects like alcohol. Whenever the chance to use medical cannabis came along, I jumped at it with both feet um, and I have never looked back. Medical cannabis in the UK is now available through private clinics. Um, I am now a member of one of the clinics and I am no longer having to deal with side effects from opioids and things like that. My mental health has improved. I've got a doctor that I can talk to on the phone and also has monthly updates. Um, it's, it's a complete and total life changer. So to go from mental health issues to actually enjoying getting up out of bed today um, just by using a different medicine, um, it piqued me interest to be sure. And did it take you sort of, obviously you were on certain prescriptions prior, I mean, did the medical cannabis help you come off those and sort of get away from harder prescription drugs? I found the likes of the likes of fluxetine and tramadols and things like that. Over the course of time, the doctor prescribed me for certain ailments. Once those ailments were treated, I found myself still having to take the tablets just to sort of function. Um, cannabis is different. It's not so much that I stopped taking the opioids. It was more so that I, I sort of forgot to take one or two here and there. And whenever I realized that was happening, I wasn't getting as angry and frustrated as normally would have happened when I missed, when I missed my prescribed drugs. Um, over the course of maybe a month, I was able to taper off all my tablets through just not wanting them anymore. Um, using CBD e-liquid was, was really the main, the main kicker for it. I've always used cannabis, I've always sourced it from the black market, but unfortunately there was no sort of consistency or even a, a guarantee into what exactly it was I was getting. Um, the CBD e-liquid from a shop in Belfast had a label on it. It was backed up with a lab report and that was really appealing to me. So I gave it a chance and I'm really glad that I did. It made such a difference to me. And so with your family and friends, what was the sort of initial reaction with them whenever you started sort of using medical cannabis? My family and friends have always been supportive. They know that I have mental health issues and they always, always have known that I've always enjoyed using cannabis. Whenever it started to become more here, this might actually be, be becoming an official medicine. It was sort of like, ah, yes, of course it is. But now that it's actually here and it is an actual medicine, I'm finding more and more of my family members are coming to me and asking, how do we get access to this? And sometimes it can be difficult to hear things like that from people who, in my eyes, would benefit a lot more from a medical cannabis prescription than myself. Mine's for mental health. I mean fit people with physical, chronic pain and things like that. They don't know that access is out there. Um, these clinics, these private clinics in the UK are all self-referred clinics. So the misconception of needing a specialist or a GP referral just to register with them is no longer required. So the more people that are finding this out, the more I'm finding people are opening up to the conversation about medical cannabis and working together to break the stigma. And what would you sort of, how, what is the process of getting a prescription? Like how would, if someone was interested in this, how would they go about getting one? Well, it's the same sort of process as any private clinic. You would register with the clinic and of course you would then set up a consultation with the clinic's doctor. The consultation's roughly between 20 and 40 minutes. It's usually up to yourself, um, but 40 minutes is, is the maximum. After that, whatever the doctor recommends is agreed on by the patient. Obviously, because the patient is paying for private health care, there is quite a lot of options available to the patient, which the doctor and the clinic nurses are more than happy to go through with the patients. The patients being happy is one of the main points of these clinics even existing. Whenever you have agreed with the doctor, your medication, whether it be flour like this, or maybe a bottle of oil, it's then wrote as a prescription and it's sent to the pharmacy. The clinic's pharmacy will then post, it will be very discreetly posted to your home address by a recorded delivery courier. 
And is there any sort of rules or regulations around medical cannabis use in the UK? Like, um, sort of, is there anything, like, can you smoke it or do you have to do it in another, like, vaping form or is there just any rules you have to follow? The doctor will, will tell you what method to use your medical cannabis. In the UK, by law, it is illegal to smoke your medically prescribed cannabis. The doctors will make you aware of this, but they'll also be able to recommend you like vaporizers, like these types of devices here, that allow you to vape your medical cannabis, which means you're able to coax the cannabinoids off the material, but there's no actual burning. You're not setting anything on fire. So these are, aren't pipes. Ideally, they're glorified ovens but they are the most healthy and more importantly clean way to use your medical cannabis prescription. Because you're not setting anything on fire, there's no more dirty smells and carcinogens going down into your lungs. It's just good clean cannabinoids. And what would this, what would it be, what would be the range of conditions that people are, are coming in here and then getting their prescriptions for? Well, cannabis is, it is a treatment. I'll never ever say it's a cure for anything. It is a treatment and because it is a treatment, it can be used to treat an array of things right across the board. The majority of people that I would come into contact with, it would be mental health, especially PTSD, anybody over, over the age of 30, 35 in Northern Ireland, a lot of them would be, and some of them don't even know they have it, a lot of it would be PTSD, anxiety, depression, um, suicidal thoughts, opioid dependency. The other side of the coin then would be a lot of chronic pain, the likes of arthritis, m multiple cirrhosis, Parkinson's, those sort of things. And what do you think that more people should be aware of, of medical cannabis here in Northern Ireland in the UK? Because obviously it's, uh, I'd imagine a lot of people would be surprised to see that you're sort of standing there with a, a cannabis flower and yeah. you know it's fully legal for you to own. Yes, definitely. As far as I'm concerned, cannabis should be a first option for patients in the UK, not a last resort. Even the likes of the children that have to campaign in the UK just so that they can afford the medicine from the private clinics. A lot of these children, in my eyes, they're not old enough to go out, they earn their crust to pay for that sort of service, so I don't see why these families are for this is forced upon them. Um, surely the government needs to look at that, but in saying that, the likes of cannabis flour compared to maybe somebody having a, a, a bag of weed, you know, running about the streets, there's a huge, huge difference. Um, the clinic that I am with is called Integral Clinics and they are coming to Belfast on the 20th of April. They're going to be in the Crown Plaza. It's a free event. It's free to anybody that wants to learn about medical cannabis. So uh, if you're saying, you know, do, do I think it should the information should be out there. I think that it should be shouted from the rafters and hopefully this private clinic showing an interest in Northern Ireland, it's not only huge to me personally, but hopefully it's something that other clinics can, can follow on from. Cannabis was legalized in 2018 in the UK, it's now 2023. What we want is acceptance. The, the PSNI don't have the right information. The doctors, the MLAs, all the civil servants, everybody that makes Northern Ireland run don't have the information and the last thing we need is people with chronic pain or a majority of mental health patients running about with medicine that works but they're scared to talk about it or they're scared to get caught with it um, because they think that it's, it's going to be taken away from them and there is a grey area. Um, we're really clinics like Integral Clinics and others around the UK are working very hard to change people's lives and change change people's lives for the better.